Yeehaw! My posse's taking out this crew in cold blood so we can rob them and have a train ride. Now, why'd you guys gotta open fire on us like that? Sir, do you have any money on you? This is episode two of the world's largest Wild West roleplay airsoft event. I got five of them. We're just trying to get a train ticket and these fellers here open fire on us. Hey, how you doing? I was like, just let's chill out, you know what I mean? All right, we're cool. These poor dudes have to head back to spawn. God bless you, gentlemen. Hope you learned a lesson. Just don't open fire on us next time for no reason. Amen. Got that right. Finally, the train shows up and we're ready to head to the ranchers. Yes, sir. All right. With the addition of the uh, the extra car, the boys back east told me I gotta charge two dollars this year. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, she's got five. He's got five. I got two. Two dollars. That's all we need. Twelve, right? All right. Yes, sir. Yes, thank you. All right. Thank you. All right. Find a seat. When everyone's uh, seated, we'll take off. All right. I'm going. We have hay and we have no hay. Oh man, I wish there was water aboard. I gotta, I gotta re-steam the boiler anyway. We could throw some on next time I pull into town. I need to get my daughter some water. And she's got a mask, so we need a straw. Now this man in the top hat here opens up this backpack medicine cabinet thing with this vial saying he has all the cures. It's really just some Gatorade in there actually, which is super cool. We're headed to the rancher to see if he wants those illegal chickens we got. And maybe that's another one of the 11 achievements we need. The rancher achievement. Because, oh yeah, so far my daughter and I met up with my crew, subdivided one of our land needs, got the landowner achievement. Landowner. Purchased some illegal chickens. are illegal. I've got two hens and a rooster right here. <laughs> all right. That's all right. I'll take the chickens, uh, not my basket. That's extra. You can have the basket. You need okay. Met the woman running for mayor. I'm the woman? I'm running for mayor. I got the gunslinger achievement. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Traded a frozen bee for the natural world achievement. Took out some animals for the trapper achievement. Now, we're hoping to sell these chickens to the rancher. You, uh, you know a lot about these parts. Do you know anything about oil being discovered yet? Not yet. I haven't heard anything just yet, but apparently it's going to go somewhere. Really? That's what I heard from the mayor. All right. The mayor knows? The mayor knows, yes. Oh. The things, Madison. This is the person that wants the things. The three things? A little feather. Station 69. <laughs> you know what the station in the town is? Just wait and see. Honestly, I'm just totally hoping and assuming that the rancher wants these chickens. Wait, sir, is there any way we could, uh, could we get off for like one minute and then get back on since we paid such a full round trip ticket? Excuse me, sir. Yes, sir. How are you doing? Good. My name's Swamp. Nice to meet you. And, uh, we happen upon, I have a group of six. Sure. And we've been working in twos. One, two, three, four, five, six. Each of us acquired something that I didn't realize was illegal. Oh yeah? But that you might be looking for. All right. And I'm not supposed to talk about it, and I hope I don't get this man in trouble. I won't tell, do I need to, I don't need to tell you? We can walk okay. over this All right. And uh, I'm absolutely looking for what you have. Oh, you are? Absolutely. They're tiny, they're, they're kind of fuzzy. I had some men build this pen just, just for the, the occasion. Oh, that I sounds them. great. Just somebody had them. Well, we do, sir. John Fulcher. You want to show them and see if it's if the goods are good? Those are absolutely it. <laughs> oh. There he In their pen. I don't want them getting loose. Didn't know if we could get something in return. Well, I've been looking for uh, this type of livestock for a while. And I'd say it's worth one of these. Yo, that is a giant gold brick, of which I think there's only three on the whole land. Okay. <laughs> but I'd also say it's quite the achievement. All right, that sounds wonderful. So, Thank you, sir. 
these little chicks moved on to some greener pastures. Thank you all very much. Sir, thank you very much. If we can ever be of service, uh, you just let us know. Sounds great. Thank you so much. I couldn't, I'm like, it's so funny. My role player character wants to like cry. Dude, like that might be worth something. dude, that made me genuinely happy. I was like, are you kidding me? Who's got it? Who's got it? Okay, okay. Oh my goodness. Well, I, I didn't realize how worth it that, that was. All right, going to the town. I think we could do a little celebration also, you know, do some uh, bartering while having some drinks and some snacks. I don't know if we can afford a drink or a snack though. We in poverty out here. Okay, all right. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. I'm sorry? been to the saloon recently? No, not recently, just earlier. Alcohol's gone up. Dollar, it's two dollars now. Oh, okay. I really don't think I'm worried about money anymore once we find out how much this gold brick is worth. But if someone shoots Doug, they can loot it right off his body. That was worth our time. Might even pay for the train ride. Look, honestly, like I'm a grown man, right? But I believe everyone needs an escape and adventure and keep their childlike wonder, yada, yada. I am thrilled right now because of this gold bar. It feels so good. I don't like people seeing people on the second floor building with rifles. Riding the train. Look at this, that's cool. Right. We need small change. I'm gonna pull some. Ca no, the line's long. That's what I should have done at the bank. Be like, give me like 21s and. I shouldn't have put all of it. Yeah, oh, that's. Yeah. We just need some small change. Do you have any of those gold coins or something? Oh, you know what? Let's do this. Let's see how many drinks he'll trade that uh, jewel for. What can I get y'all? Well, we're trying to, we don't have any small cash on us. We're trying to, I don't know if we have any big bills on us. Do you have that thing? Do you accept other currency, sir? Of course. Can I see it, Madison? Oh, oh, wait, that's really. What? Hey, wait, wait, wait. That, that is really, really valuable. But here's a question. If it were worth it to you. We're in town for a couple days. Could that cover my cruise? Six. And I mean like cover our whole tab. The rest of the weekend? It's up to you. Sounds like a deal to me. All right, sounds good. So here's my crew, let me identify them. This man right here, those two men, this lady, that very young boy, infant, and myself. So open tab, free tab, free tab. Yep. All right. I'm getting a refill on the whiskey. My lady needs a water. My lady needs a water, like actually desperately. Sparkling or regular? Regular. Regular. What the? Did you do this? <laughs> Did you do that? <laughs> Alright, thank you, sir. Appreciate you. What? That's for him. That's for him. That just bought us free drinks and snacks for the whole weekend. The whole weekend. For our crew. We've got plenty of snacks. I hear free drinks on the house. He is with us, sir. I know, right? That was awesome. Now Madison wants to know how much the couple gold coins are worth. Um, you can check that at the bank. Why don't you go ask how much those are worth at the bank and trade them for actual dollars? Yeah, go for it. Or do you want someone to accompany you? 
Yeah. All right, we'll meet you up back here, okay? Yep, pull those out and say, how much cash can I get for this and negotiate your way up? Um, sir, can I get two of your strongest cream soda-esque things with ice? Of course. Thank you. There you go, sir. So is the mayor looking for low, low number plus? Yeah. And I have number one. Yeah. And we have number six. So, basically, I've heard from three separate people. The mayor wants low value lots. These Pinkertons. I don't know. We're going to find out. Let's meet the mayor. Can I have that far jerky thing? Which one? The far one? One or two. I don't know what it is. Oh, I'll take two. Sorry, no, we're not going to drain your supplies or anything, you know. All right. Thank you, sir. So never thought that could happen. We literally negotiated a super expensive gem for an open tab that's covered for the whole weekend for us. Drinks, snacks, yeet. Sheriff's paying people, but that seems like a lot of people. Oh, well, they're getting deputized. That could be. Okay, let's do it. Whew. It's like the worst place to How you doing, ma'am? Hi, y'all here to see the mayor? Name Swamp. Yeah, we have, uh, nice we have. Nice to meet you. Been nice to meet you. What's your name again? Miss Marmalade. Miss Marmalade? Yes. Uh, we have something that the mayor is very interested in, and we're definitely interested in a meeting with him. All right. You're good? Uh huh. <laughs> no, he's exhausted. Right? Yeah, he's tired. He just carried one. I think we're about to get a private room back here. And 50 pounds more. Oh, look who it is. Oh, it's, it's this guy. Howdy. Howdy. Oh, excuse me, they're alive? What is this? Is uh, alive? Uh, there, we're waiting for the mayor. Yeah. Okay. Uh, How you doing? Good. Come here. Let's, uh, let's go over here. All right. Uh, Actually, come over here. Uh, I ran into some... Uh, some lawmen. Yep. Yeah. Pinkertons or regular lawmen? You know what? I'm not even sure what kind of lawmen they were. But they showed they gave me this. Oh my gosh. It's a warrant for your arrest. In the state of Texas. Right. I've already talked to the Pinkertons and this from Texas. Washington. This is not Texas, this is Virginia. But I thought I'd just show you that. Yeah. Uh, I see. Is it the same thing suggesting that I melt the cow illegally? Yep. Yeah, I know who made that warrant. I know who did too. Doesn't say any extradition. Phoenix. <laughs> he showed me them. Who are these Pinkertons you're talking about? Pinkertons, they're these guys, they're, they're getting deputized and they're getting a group they're of people, people to shoot some robbers. <laughs> no, they seem really nice oh, to us. Wait. And they gave us some good information and the mayor wants to see us, trust me. Well, um. I also have very <laughs> Urgent news? Urgent news. I'll wait here. How are you doing? I am. What's up? On this line. I don't get a reward. This line. You make yourself a pretty good job. I'm. Can we have three? It will be worth it. They're also going to ask you to do the storm, by the way. That's fine. So he doesn't allow Ask us to what? It's fine. They're not a fan of weapons in the mayor's office. Good oh, lord. Like so weapons behind this line. Alright. Sir, my entire body is a weapon, but can you make an exception for that? It's fine, it's safe. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Is this Look at how cinematic this feels. Look at this. The mayor just glaring off it. Hello, sir. Oh, hello, sir. Mayor <laughs> Jelly, how can I help you? Mayor Jelly, I, I remember you last year. Yeah, this is quite a time back then. Have a seat, have a drink. All right. Um, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Sorry, Walter. <laughs> it's okay. Sorry, I don't know. It's been a little hard getting some chairs through, through, the, through the freight lines. Well, sir. That's the awful. Cool. One, I think you're doing a great job with the town. We heard you're looking for plots with very low numbers and heard that you might be paying premium for them and we may know someone who has Well, I, you have heard right. I am looking for low number lots. However, do you all happen to have them? Well, the 
question is, because we might be able to very quickly acquire one, how much are you selling them for? Because we've got our own investments already and we're doing we're pretty well off. Mr. Snizzle, yeah, bring me the big item. See, I'm a very gracious man. And if I have what I acquire land, I'm willing to make people's dreams come true. So if I get what I want, I'm willing to pay for it. All right. Whew. Now, depending on the land, depends on the price. But I'm just here to show you I'm ready for the ball. Too. So if we had 10, let's say lot 10, which is lower than 300, but we could get you lot 6, that would be more valuable than 10. I'm interested in all of them. But really? If you bring more interest in lot 6 than I have 10. 6. If we have lot 6, we could make a trade. We can make a deal. Sir. We can. <laughs> Now, you don't have lot six, so you got lot ten. It's not worth as much to you, but I am interested in it. Helps protect the ranch down south a little bit, give a little bit more protection. You know, like I said, it may not be worth you know this beautiful piece of gold right here, but we'll get you somewhere. So, if we got lot six, what's on the table is on the table. You give me a lot of six and ten, I'll make it even better. You give me a lot of six, do a little negotiating on it. Maybe you get the bar, maybe you won't. You give me a lot of ten, the bar's off the table. But lot six. Lot six is what I want, sir. That's what you want. Yes, sir. I need lot six and eight. Why are you looking for lot six? You see, sir, everybody's here We've got gold fever, oil fever, and everything else. But they fail to remember that the town still needs to be protected. So once the oil is found out in the world, people are going to come in here and invest with the corporate types. My goal is to make sure this town stays with the town. So if I can secure those plots of the land and structures inside of the town, I can protect the very people of this world, prosperous land. Sure. And keep them from being run out by the corporate types. My ultimate goal, Jim, is to take this town to the next level to be the biggest destination on the East Coast and the West Coast. But in order to do that, we have to make sure the town stays close. And by that, he might mean with him. There's no talk of oil being on Lot 6, right? Not the night oil. Yeah. Okay. Lot 6 is a building. I know. Okay. Well, I thought it was like the lower it got, the more valuable. Mm. So that's not how it is? It could be. If you bring me the deed to Lot 6, Talk if we bring you the deed to lot six, we get that gold bar. If you bring me the lot, the lot six, I'll give you that gold bar. I'm shake you, on that. I'll shake on it. You bring me lot eight, I'll make it a little sweeter. Lot ten, take it. I'm going to shake on lot, lot six. six. Bring me lot six, I'll make it happen. All right, we can bring that to you right now, sir. Make it happen. Oh, we're about to own the majority of gold. I have a question for y'all. Seeing I've been busy with doing paperwork and whatnot, what's the word on the street about Mary Jelly's reign? I, I haven't heard anything bad. That's, good. That's, good. That's probably good news. Mayor's office sold some of that poison swill moonshine to a child, and this, this is the result. That's a dead child! I literally have not heard anything bad. We have, we have a lousy mayor. He's been poisoning the moonshine and blaming it on the saloon. Hmm. Now, uh, let me ask you this question. Uh, That's not bad, but are you guys looking to do a little side work? Uh, maybe. You willing to help the town make some money? Perhaps. Yeah. Mr. Schnitzel, can you give me one of my jelly jars, please? Yeah. Well, we have a deal. Yep, we'll take care of this first. All right, sounds good. So, uh, I just need your name there on the side. I had a pencil at some point. I don't know where that is. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here you go, sir. 
They call me Swamp. Is that good enough? Yes, sir. Walk Swamp on there and put a date next to it for us. The only reason why is I just haven't had a chance to get the bank yet. <laughs> Sir. Thank you, that. sir. All right, my name on the other side. This is y'all. Now, what that's worth is what it's worth. Good job. If only we had another low number lot. Right. I think I know now. someone who had lot one, and I'm willing to kill for it, but it, it'd have to be just as good, and that would be pretty difficult. It would be pretty difficult. <laughs> so, this here. This is how I keep the time without being taxed. Hmm. So now I got a little bit of a business running around right now, and I'm trying to get some stuff going to help the miner. I'm missing my still. I need a barrel that has a silver cross on it. I don't know what's happened to it. I sent some guys out there. I don't know where it's at. I need it. You bring that back to me and a copper pipe, and get things going. Barrel with a silver cross and a yep. copper pipe. Yep. All right, sir. Last I saw, Miss Marmalade, Matt, please. Thank you. So last I saw the still, my grandpappy told me he was hidden around this area down in the south, around the wood line. So down there in the south end. Out All there right. The woods. There was a cow nearby, from what he told me in legend. Ah, you, you bring that to me and not get into the attention of the sheriff and get things going. All right, sounds good. Well, thank you, sir. Yes, thank sir. you for your time, a lot of time. You guys want a beverage from the road? I'd grab one for my daughters, if that's okay. That's fine. I also oh, cool. got some, uh, some chill in the back, though, if you're interested. I'll go for it. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Now, y'all, y'all find me that barrel and make it prosperous for you. All right. Yes, sir. Long live Mayor Jelly. Thank you, sir. Have a good one. Oh, hope my daughter's alive. Thank you. Where's Maddie? He's downstairs, I think. What? She's downstairs? Okay, sorry that took so long, but I haven't realized yet that at my daughter's very first airsoft event, I told her we would be in the saloon and we completely ditched out on her. And I have no idea where she is. Are you guys still doing stuff up here? You wanna walk down? We can get down. Okay, cool, cool. Wait, those things? That's the biggest part of the thing is if we're gonna... No, you know that big thing we just got? I don't, I don't wanna like carry that around. I know, but we have two of them. Did, did we... Madison turn into the bank? No, no, she turned in small gold coins. Doug, uh, Doug has that. We have two giant gold bricks. Oh. We got one from the rancher for these three little chickens that we like bluffed our way into getting, which are apparently illegal in the town. And then we heard the mayor was looking for low lot numbers and he puts this huge gold bar on the table. And we're like, all right, you got a deal? And we shook and we got it. So we have two. I have no idea what they're worth, thousands of dollars each. That dude's like running from shooting. From shooting it. Yeah, that guy's has his gun out. Jet, well, uh, let's see uh, your range. <laughs> let's see how well, far I, you I can shoot, brother. No, you don't have to fight him. Just shoot him. Oh. Look at him. I don't know. He's, he's doing gun kata. He's, he's chasing somebody. He's doing gun kata all up in here. Well, where, where's the rancher? That's, uh, that's rancher's fine. down south. Down that way. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. What are you gents about to go do right now? We're gonna try to figure out these gold bars. The gold bars? Mm-hmm. That we have. I've never done this is weird. Do I just eat it? I think it's supposed to be like dip. I know it's yeah. like that. Yeah. You want? I know, but I'm like, do I eat it or? We got we've, uh, we've been trying to get more money. We've only got about $9 between the two of us. Okay. All right. Yeah. We can help you guys out a little bit. All right. So obviously you don't have a bank account started yet, right? No. All right. We can, oh my. He just, it was a guy that walked right behind the ruins. Behind the building there. It was not us. Oh uh, no, I saw him. He shot at you guys, right? Yeah, go get him. We're not gonna risk getting in something with those things. Let's figure it out. Here, let's go to the bank and let's let's take care of a good friend. Okay. Let's do that. Wait, my daughter. Yeah. Where is my daughter? Turns out she's having a tough time right now, searching the entire field for us. She got shot pretty bad. I hope she's okay. And then she got looted and threatened. Where is she? Looking for you. Is she okay? Yeah, she was looking for you. Okay, but she went up north? So she just went on her own? Looking for us or just doing her own thing? Worst father of the year award right here. Can we grab a couple waters real quick? Thank you, sir. Well, that's concerning. She's off on her own. Hey. 
Sorry? She's over by the pond? Yes. I just passed her walking. Is she all right? Yes, sir. Okay. Hey, can you two retrieve Madison? Yep, I appreciate it, and we're hey, we're gonna no. talk about negotiating with that stuff. I mean, she went upstairs Are with us, right? You about your no. We just all walked out, uh, and she yes. probably had no idea. Oh, I want to shoot him. Let's go figure this stuff out with the bank. I shouldn't have gone to the bank. I should have immediately gone for Madison. <laughs> what I really want to find out is if oil's been discovered. Yeah, hang on, I gotta go. Because he was very specific about that. I gotta go get square with the law. Why? Are you being accused of something? <laughs> Uh, sir. Did you show this today? How, how was the bank doing? Prospering? Uh, we're covering after giving a give our portion away this morning, but uh, yeah, we, uh, we got robbed by Billy the Kid and his three sisters. They made it all uh, eight paces out the door. <laughs> there you go. Someone I know has a giant gold bar, and they're wondering how much that's worth. Depending on size, uh, we can take anywhere from 50 to 100 bucks for something size. Oh, oh sir, I'm, this is like a, a $3,000 gold bar. We can see it, we can, we can appraise Have you seen these? Uh, um, we've seen one like this one. I yes, sir. There is I bought for about 300 bucks this morning. Okay. But we have been paying a little more. Gold's been getting a little bit more, uh, a little more scarce, a little harder to come by, so. All right. We can, we can make some money work. Okay. What if I paid 400 bucks for that? You make a quick hundred dollars. Can I buy that from you for 400 bucks? Of course. Yeah, that bar is worth way more, and I'm buying it. Doug has the biggest account. I don't have any, I don't have that much money in my account. Doug Dowdy? Oh, this feels so wrong. I am using Doug's account to buy that while he's out trying to find my dog. There should be a 581 in there. Can we uh, trade the 400 out of that so we have 181 left? Thank you very much. You too. I look forward to hearing if there's anything with that oil. Thank you, sir. Yeah, that's wild. You, sir. Me. Are you the one they call the Phoenix? I'm Gooseman. Are you from Texas? I am from Texas. I am a ranger. I have been falsely accused of I... illegally milking a cow and shooting a buffalo from the second floor of a hotel. Not once, but twice. I, I'm just a delivery man. The great state of Texas gave me a package to deliver to people. All right. And Okay, all right. You know, well, it, it seems pretty aggressive, cool. like... I, I'm a, I'm a law-abiding man, and I'm just doing what the great state of Texas wanted me to do. All right. And I'm and keep an eye on my pa's, you know, livestock here. This, okay. This is Jilly Bay. All right, well, good. So you're not out for me. No, no, I'm just delivering mail. Okay, all right. Delivering mail. All right, well, thank you, sir. But, 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 but I was told if I did come across you, can, can you hold the kids, 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 I do have something you might be interested in. Not for me? Because I was told that if I did come across you, I had to deliver something. Yeah. Or per subdivision? Yeah. Oh, not okay? Yeah. Okay. Maddie, I'll be with you in a second. Thank you, sir. I'm going to have to open this around sure the corner. That uh, no one's tampered with it. All right. I appreciate you. Be safe. Okay, come here. Hey, you. I felt so terrible as she was lost and separated from us for like 35 minutes. But on top of that, she got ambushed and shot and they took everything she had. And she was so excited that she traded the gold coins for $20. But it's difficult explaining how certain things are just role play. It made me question how I felt about those dudes that I shot and then accused them of shooting me. But I'm thankful for experiences like this because it's going to help her grow. She really, really wanted to try it out, and I'm glad she's sticking with it. But for myself, I just can't wait to hunt down the guys who did it and get vengeance. Well, don't point with your hand or anything. We'll walk over to the saloon. You just tell me if you see them. 
Don't point with your hand. Maddie, you're too exposed in the open. You might get shot. Are they down there? Is one of them in that bright blue shirt? They just kept laughing at you. They took all of her money except for one dollar. And then what did they say? If they're not gonna let you go? For anyone new to role playing, it's hard to tell the difference between role playing and someone being aggressive or condescending. But we're gonna get her money back. That's part of the role play, baby. However, this is a very legitimate reason for me to put a shotgun in someone's face, and I'm excited about that. <laughs> Wait, sweetheart, sweetheart, we're not we're not going quite yet. We're not gonna run right into it unless we're all like loaded up, and we're gonna get you your money back. Oh, also, everyone, gather, gather, gather. I don't know what's up with the banker. Maybe the bank is like really, really poor, but he was like. $300 for the gold bar. So I bought that one from for 400 from him. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Like that's, the, uh, you know, that thing's worth like three grand. Who goes through this kind of effort? It's from 1863. This is like 20 years ago, 19 years ago. Whoever this is, I will read it at a different time, but we've Jasper Davis. Where are we gonna? <laughs> that's, a, that's a whole lot of words to me. I'm not gonna read them. <laughs> yeah, that's how I feel. Madison, is there any way you can store this? So that is that is part of the game, Maddie. And the laughing was probably Jet Del Castillo Fox, Desert Fox. Crime of failing to provide person 24. Del Castillo. He calls himself Jethro. Alright, let's um. Why are you looking like that? Not much? I think he was thinking about shooting me. You know what? I'm just gonna shoot him. Yeah. Safety. He was looking down. I was totally fine. It was perfect timing. It's not awkward at all. Hey, what are you guys doing? It's all right, boy. Oh, it's your time. I deserve that. I shot myself. Thank you, Mr. Swamp. Wait, uh, let everybody know. I don't. I don't have it. I was hold up. Doug's about to heal this guy. It'll be funny. You're not gonna shoot me after, right? It would be. It would be pretty funny. Probably not. Probably not. Not very convincing. Thank you very much. Well, it's time for me to hunt down and take out the guys who shot and looted my daughter. It's also time for the giveaways for this video. For the last video, I asked a question about birds. The answer was four. And the winner of my signed smoke wagon goes to Liam Miller. Congratulations, brother. Hit me up in the business inquiry email in my about section. But for this video, I have a mystery gun giveaway that I'm gonna do. And if you want a shot at winning that, like the video, subscribe if you haven't, but answer this question. How much was left in Doug's bank account? Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this content. I'm having a blast making it. And listen, as always, whatever you do in life, stay safe, enjoy it, be creative, do good things, hang in there, and peace. Check out swampsniper.com for my merch.